Professor Muhammad Sharif with you. Uh, let's talk today about um, a new subject. It's um, about uh, solar chimney uh, power plant. Uh, first of all, you have to specify your destination folder by after opening your MATLAB and downloading your module. Uh, okay, don't open your module from the desktop. Just go to your uh, copy to your working folder and go to your working folder from here, from this uh, space, your drive, your working folder, and your module folder. This is my uh, module folder. So I, I go here. I go here and open it. Okay, so I open it and I found my folder, uh, something like this, and click on this uh, small uh, uh, arrow and go to sort by name and group by type, and you will find your model um, lying here. Okay, double clicking on your model or drag and drop here. So I double clicking. Okay, this is our model today. What is our subject about? Uh, solar chimney it's about um, um, some kind of solar energy power for uh, using uh, uh, updraft uh, air, hot air, in order to generate uh, uh, sufficient power for utilities and energy. Um, actually, the main idea is simple. It's just, it's just we have here uh, solar field glass uh, cover or whatever uh, um, you know or plastic glazing or something like this and uh, uh, after solar radiation hits uh, this transparent material and uh, uh, uprising the temperature of uh, the air trapped between the glass cover and the ground so the temperature is um, ex expected to um, rise up from ambient temperature suppose it's 25 30 degrees Celsius up to uh, 65 70 80 degrees Celsius uh, no more than this so by lowering increasing the temperature of the air and lowering uh, the air density so the air is trapped here and searching for something in order to uh, flow outside with a, a faster drag therefore it will go through the center okay it will go through the center and trying to upward uh, through the, the chimney as you can see his chimney in the middle of the field so and we have to put a uh, uh, wind turbine unit with a generator as axial flow in, into the axial flow in order to uh, harvest um, uh, the energy speed in the, in the, in the air and we can uh, use uh, this electrical uh, generator for power uh, energy um, this is a design model. You have to assign your uh, power. Okay, set your simulation time into zero. Okay, and okay, double clicking on your model here, and you will find some inputs. Okay, what uh, what are our inputs? Okay, we have here we have here uh, some inputs. We have to deal with solar radiation what is your solar radiation it's it is variable so you can change your solar radiation suppose it's uh, um, 600 uh, watt per meter square inlet ambient temperature suppose it's 25 okay and um, now what is your uh, outlet top temperature it's up to, to your design suppose i i would go for uh, 70 degrees celsius Okay, let's go for power generation. Suppose you need, uh, uh, let's begin from uh, 1,000 megawatts, uh, I'm sorry, 1,000 kilowatts, 1 megawatt, okay? And solar, solar field height, because this is a gradual increase here, I'm sorry, this is a gradual increase here. What is your height, expected height? So I, I think it's, it's a, uh, 
usually between two meters at the beginning and nine meters at the end or at the entrance gate of your uh, 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 tower of your chimney therefore suppose it's uh, uh, I will begin for as you uh, as an um, average value for six meters and um, wind turbine efficiency besides generator I think it's around 80 percent uh, chimney efficiency uh, it's around 90 95 uh, percent and collector efficiency around 30 36 30, something like, like this okay as usual and we have some cause this is design performance and we have here uh, operating conditions design uh, performance and cost analysis so interest rates suppose it's uh, three percent and blend lifetime is 30 years or 25 years it is up to you a concrete uh, concrete cost something between 100 uh, up to uh, 160 um, and we have uh, construction labor transportation costs it's uh, by the volume of your chimney this is for the chimney for solar field uh, glass cover costs it's around uh, between 13 dollars and 15 dollars per square meter and power uh, conversion okay there let's do this okay hit okay and let's go inside let's go inside your model from here okay be sure be sure to double clicking on your end stream here and select to send data to data inspector so we need to send our data to a data inspector or you can go here from uh, model explorer and going here and click solar chimney power and you can send your outputs to save final value to workspace okay something like this as i am doing power area collector area radius diameter okay and levelized electric cost hourly costs total annual costs power cost okay uh, axial force and uh, wind speed okay air mass flow rate thermal power okay areas okay and hit apply in order to discover your output data here in MATLAB workspace you will find your results here so we need to deal with okay okay uh, what we have here based on our inputs as you can see here it's one block this, these are your inputs and these are your outputs okay um, this is your chimney height we are going to discover what is our chimney height chimney diameter okay what is your diameter here uh, collector field diameter what is the diameter of the field collector field radius uh, solar collector area total uh, collector area uh, turbine uh, wind rotor uh, area spot area of the turbine thermal power to the air transferred to the air via solar radiation air mass flow rate uh, air velocity wind turbine rotor velocity axial force pressure loss through the chimney total capital cost total annual costs hourly costs and levelized electrical uh, cost okay so we prepared everything be sure to to this to uh, click on stream and if I, I if I click now it's I will stop so there is no data uh, will appear in data inspector so I have to click here and click on this signal or going here and select stream selected signal to data inspector I click so I choose this small square so I prepared everything now let's go and run our model okay let's go and saving let's hit run at zero okay let's hit run and see our results okay for one megawatts we need uh, 200 and nearly 50 meters height chimney diameter is just 17 meter solar field diameter radius 
Tuta field area, wind turbine uh, swift area, uh, rotor area, thermal power, okay, and a mass flow rate, air velocity, wind velocity, axial force, include pressure losses, capital cost, uh, this is total capital costs, uh, total annual costs, and hourly costs, that's around three, 237, and levelized costs is around 0.23. Uh, okay, is it, it is in the range because uh, it's it's uh, around from point, uh, 0 0.1 up to 0 0.25 to 6 something like this. Okay, let's go dynamically in order to make some changes and and see what is going on. Set your simulation time into infinity as usual. Okay, this is infinity and go outside here, double clicking on your model. And let's let's return back to inside or to to see the, the effect of the change. Okay. Okay. Let's go and uh, hit run and let's change some uh, parameters with respect to the time. So you can set your simulation time into twelve hours, twenty four hours. It's it's up to your design. You can use that inspector. You have to see my videos, previous videos about how to use data inspector and signal builder with your uh, special signal builder with your uh, while dealing with your uh, outputs okay output data let's hit run and see if we change uh, some okay let's change uh, solar radiation i'm trying to increase solar radiation up to 900 okay up to 900 it will affect on uh, field diameter and 1000 this is 1000 let's change uh, temperature click on the cursor here you have to click and use your arrows you have to write or up and down so i'm i am uh, a click by click i am increasing the temperature uh, this is my desired temperature or design temperature up to 80 degrees celsius and let's go for uh, changing the power I will change the power up to 8,000s, uh, 12,000s, okay, up to 100 megawatts. Let's go for 100 megawatts. Okay, as you can see here, I am increasing uh, uh, power, power needed, okay, okay, uh, 60 mega. 70 mega okay and this is 80 mega 900 mega and 100 100 mega okay i will keep other parameters as it was let us stop and let's go click here in order to see if you go outside here in your matlab you'll find your result final result this is your final value okay and if you go here click on data inspector and you will see your uh, results fluctuating inside your, the data inspector, as you can see here. Okay, for uh, your chimney height, with respect to, there is no significant change while using solar, but there is some kind of change while while temperature, this is temperature, solar, this is power increase. What is your chimney diameter in meter? Okay. What is your, uh, this is your turbine axial force, uh, this is pressure, this is uh, uh, total costs, total annual cost, yearly annual costs. Let's do some, uh, add some fields. Okay. And we can add here uh, uh, hourly costs. Here is uh, your levelized electrical cost fluctuating according to temperature and solar radiation and uh, power output okay and we have here collector field diameter uh, collector field radius okay and solar collector area square meters and we have here uh, air mass flow rate for example okay as you can see here this is fluctuating your results based on your and you can click on send to figure as you can see here if you click here you will send all of these outputs to a figure in order to deal with okay uh, let's close here let's 
uh, run, run this model again and try to make another run and compare our runs at infinity inf okay let's hit run again and see if we if we decreased or increased some uh, outputs let's decreasing our solar radiation again okay i'm decreasing solar radiation down to 500 i'm <coughs> sorry as you can see here uh, down to 500 okay and uh, decreasing my click on the cursor here and move uh, from right to left or from left to right in order to change let's go down uh, to 65 degrees Celsius okay and let's decreasing from 100 megawatts okay I'm decreasing from 100 megawatts down to uh, for example 1 megawatt okay 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 for 400 kilowatts and this is your um, efficiency you can uh, okay you can change efficiency if you would like collector heights okay that's enough for this let's hit stop and see our results okay I'm trying now to compare runs this is uh, these are the results of the first run okay this is run, run number one is for zero uh, domain time and this is run number two this or and this is run number three now it's chain height so we have to ch click here in chain height in order to realize the decreasing we increase the, the, the inputs and we decrease it uh, again at chimney uh, diameter turbine axial force you realize comparing between uh, results uh, this is hourly costs decreased pressure uh, loss uh, through the chimney uh, capital costs as you can see here total annual costs and levelized electrical cost here uh, collector field diameter collector field diameter uh, collector field uh, radius uh, okay solar collector area here and uh, this is our air mass flow rate okay uh, decreasing and you can use highlight uh, data cursors so you can click shows so if you change if you move your cursor you will uh, compare between up and down and your results as usual as you can see here so this is a up this is a new uh, results and this is a previous results so you can send all of these results into a, a, a figure and you can deal with um, uh, by your um, previous knowledge in uh, MATLAB uh, uh, figures or plotting. Finally, I would like to thank you very much for uh, your watching our um, uh, this interested model. Uh, this is an interesting model, so I I hope that you can enjoy our videos. Don't forget to like, share, and uh, uh, subscribe. Thank you very much.